guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Tipsy Trivia, the party drinking game. I've got Ashley and Max here with me, and we just did a live stream for it last night, played it a little bit beforehand, but when we got the drinks together, that's... I think when you can put all together what the game is going to be about, right? Oh, yeah. And, and in this game here, we're basically going to be drawing cards. You'll choose a difficulty one, two, or three. You'll be using this little handy dandy buzzer thing, and you'll be attempting to stave away from points or play until somebody taps out, uh, which can, I guess, get a little more intense. So we're going to talk about how to play the game, give you the idea of what the different cards are, and then we are going to give you our review or thoughts on Tipsy Trivia that you can back on Kickstarter right now. So let's talk about the game Tipsy Trivia, how to play the game, and the different types of cards in it. Well, there is going to be the different uh, values of cards. So we've got the ones, uh, the threes, and the twos here, right? And these are for different difficulties. And you could choose any one you want on your turn. You draw one of these guys, and then you perform one of the three different uh, types of cards. One of them is category cards. Category cards are basically going to give you a category and then everybody is going to start by tapping this buzzer and the first player who drew the card will name a category. Uh, basically this one here is professional wrestler. So I would say Hulk Hogan and then you might say Steve Austin and then you might say The Rock. And then we keep going until somebody uh, wasn't able to tap the buzzer. Between every single, every time you get an answer right, you tap this buzzer and it goes to the next person. When somebody basically stumbles and gives you that deer in the headlights look, that is when the round is over. This buzzer will buzz on them and they will keep the card and take the damage. It could be one, two, or three damage. And that's basically how all the categories work. There's different types of categories, wrestlers, types of subway sandwiches, states begin with M, so on and so forth. Uh, that's just one of them though. There's another one as well. There's also punishment cards, and with punishments, they actually are for you. So you don't get to pass them on, you have to fulfill the punishment that's on the card. Um, and they're normally for the entire duration of the game. So when you get them, you just keep them, and then you're left with them the entire game. Nice. Yeah, they can be pretty brutal, or they can just be pretty funny. And there's one more different type of card. And then we have reward cards. You keep the re reward card when you draw it. Each different reward card can give you a pass on something. So if you're stuck, you go, hey, I have my pass. I'm going to use my pass. Then you hit the buzzer. It goes to the next person. This one right here is a ricochet. So instead of having a pass, if I have a downside effect i can ricochet it to any player i want so if i had if, if you had the punishment king of the hill you could make this go to ashley or exactly. me instead exactly and basically that's the idea of the game you draw a card perform one of the three different types of cards and then pass play to the next player uh, but mostly in general everybody is playing the games and involves stuff like the king's, king's cup style rules as far as the punishment goes and then you have rewards that are based off of what happens in the game and then category cards are the main types of trivia which they're very straightforward very simple categories that most people will know at least a couple of them yeah. um, some of them are going to be more have a more larger variety like actors or like singers and others might be smaller like the seven dwarves but you keep playing until one of the two different conditions that you choose to play what, what do you remember what one way to win the game is um you have to not get to 10 right yes so it's like a 10 it's like a survival game every time you fail a a, a card you have to keep this in front of you and that will count as a cumulative score and once you hit 10 you're out like last man standing type of thing and then do you remember the other one the other one was literally whoever can stay in the game longest while drinking is the winner. So if I'm drinking with my buddies and we're doing this game and every single one of my buddies stops drinking because they've had enough, I win. It might just go on and, until everyone can no it's longer continue to sloshed. play. Yeah. Mm. But that's the basic idea for the game. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Draw a card and play. Let's go ahead and give you our review now. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Okay. So now the review for TFC Trivia. Uh, this game is a pretty straightforward drinking game. You draw a card, play the card, do what it says. It's either going to be great, terrible, or the neutral card, which we just all play together. Uh, this is a game that pretty much anybody at a party would be interested in playing. It's very straightforward, very simple. Any uh, person of the age of 21 or older will easily be able to play this game, no matter how... Well, not no matter how fresh nick it they get, but up until a long reasonable point. When it becomes unreasonable to play, that's probably when you need to tap out. Uh, I had a lot of fun with this game. It, it's it's 
a literally a straight up party drinking game. <laughs> the definition of the type of game it is. Yeah, and even if you are no longer wanting to actually drink alcohol and get sloshed, you can still sit there and use soda, anything you want to really play. So if you're playing with people that are, are underage, it, it's not restricted to alcoholic drinks in particular, so you can drink whatever you like. Yeah. Playing the game is the thing that is the most fun. Yeah, I agree. I just think that this one is going to do well with liquor. Agreed. Adding this with drinks is how to play it. I, and of course, people who don't drink, you know, you don't have to abstain. You can play. It's, not, it's no problem at all. Uh, what do you think? Um, I really liked it. I thought it was interesting how you could get punished just randomly and it wasn't like by someone else's hand. It was just an unlucky draw. Um, so for instance, I had to have my hand over my eye for the entire game. And then I had to drink like a penguin. So every time I was punished, you know, by not fulfilling the category card, I had to drink like that. So that made it interesting too. Some of the category, some of the punishments are more detrimental than others. Mm -hmm. While putting your hand over your eye, and if you fail, you have to drink. You you have to keep the card as a punishment. Yeah, so it's another point, or it would be up to three points if it's in in the hard category. And that's a way. Also, there's some strategy to the game. It's a limited strategy though, but you can choose the difficulty and based on what is left over, as far as the players that are in the game, you can start pulling these three cards out there. Or, for instance, if Callie has uh, nine points and she were to have seven points, she would choose a one because if she fails the one, she's okay. But if Callie fails it, she wins. So there's like slight mathematical challenge, but it's like drunken challenge, right? It's like just can you get to can you count to ten style challenge? But there is it is there. There is strategy involved in the game, especially with more players and uh, what types of cards are going to be more challenging than than them. I I think this game works very well as well because you can add more cards to the game if you wanted to. You can increase the variety expansions. This this is plenty of things you can do in this game. And most people who have played college drinking games are going to be able to get down with with tipsy trivia mm -hmm. very easily. Yeah, this was a, one of those college dorm uh, whether whether it be uh, What's the two different types? You have the males and the females. The frat, frat, and sorority. 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 Yeah. Those are the two that will play this this type of game here. Uh, other than that, though, the negatives to the game are uh, the graphic design usually could use some work. I, I like to see the box probably presented a little better with some better artwork. Um, the kind of, I mean, all this is fine. This reminds me of like Cards of Humanity style uh, straightforwardness, where you can just see it, what it is, you know it, how it functions. As long as it's really re readable and legible, that's nice. Uh, the art, I like the different types of symbols on the cards here. You'll notice that they're just more like, um, what are these called? Icons? Icon mm -hmm. Iconography? Uh, yeah. I, like, I like these, yeah. Uh, just the, the box itself, the box artwork, I think, pretty much. The buzzer works great. It's pretty straightforward. And you know that it's timed based on when it's pressed. So if you press it again, it's going to reset the timer, but the timer is very quick, and you're very likely to uh, get that deer in the headlights. We have had happened to us a bunch of times with easy categories, but because the buzzer is going, everybody's looking at you for an answer. It's it's frustrating. It's it's nerve wracking, right? And it's it's it makes it more challenging when you're just thinking of like a guy in your family's name, and you're just like blanking out, but your dad hasn't been named yet. That kind of thing. Yeah. The only thing I would like to see really different with this is having the buzzer make more noise. A little louder. Or if it had a volume control on it, so that way, if you're with a bunch of people who get really, really loud, really, really rowdy, especially after the drinks have been added in, it would be able to make it a lot more noticeable because it's very quiet. Yeah, it is a quieter buzzer. Um, yeah, we, we, we were having difficulty a little bit, not not too bad, but it was noticeable. That The ring is fine, but it's just the, the, the beeping, you want to hear that start to increase. Yeah, because it also shows you, all right, my time's almost up, and if everyone's laughing and still giggling from the last round, it allows you to be able to hear that buzzer, so that way you can make sure that you get your answer in before it starts ticking down faster. What do you think? Um. Yeah, I would say the only thing that I really didn't like that much was like the lack of art but uh, the cards itself were cool like I like the text it's really easy to read and I think that's really important when people are drinking um, but no I really like the game I thought it was fun uh, we were all laughing and I got out first as usual but it was fun <laughs> so like I hate this well I like this game but I hate this game <laughs> <laughs> well either way though if you're interested in picking up the game tipsy trivia I think it's on Kickstarter currently right now link in the description and you can also go ahead and check out our 
live stream video, which is now a playthrough on YouTube. We are giving away one of two games over the Robotech Force of Arms and or uh, the Shuffle Grand Prix. If you're interested in picking up either of those games, uh -huh. uh, you can go ahead and leave a like, comment in, in the description down below in the comment section, also on the live stream, or you can do it on our playthrough video if you're interested in watching that. We'll get entered to win at the end of the year. We'll pick somebody to win one of those two games that get to go ahead and choose it. So it's just an easy way at the end of the year here. If you're on the Patreon and all that kind of stuff, we'll talk about that in a second. But nevertheless, tipsy trivia, link down below if you want to pick up this drinking party game. Definitely going to be a lot of fun. All right, guys, thank you for watching. And um, if you want to get tipsy trivia, the link will be down in the description below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so that way you can see all of the new videos we put out, see all the fun games we get to play and show off to you guys so that way you guys can buy great games for the holidays, for parties, everything else that you guys can come up with. And if you want the website, unfilteredgamer.com, blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more, subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification button. Links are in the description for Patreon as well as our Discord. Support us and watch our live stream every, what day? Wednesday. At what time? 6.30? PM PST. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I look forward to seeing, seeing you guys, guys next time. time. I was like, shit, is it seven? <laughs> <laughs>